So guys, I hope you enjoyed today's episode. It's a short update about what we've been up to for the month of June. We got really ill for two weeks and we're out of order. We couldn't get any work done. We needed to rest a lot. But we're back and we have to get the boat in the water by end of July. So stay tuned. Where do we begin this episode? We have been here in BNV Marine Langkawi where our little sailboat sits on the hard stand for two months now. In our last episode, you saw us cleaning our boat out and organizing the stuff inside it. We installed new batteries on our boat, got her bottom sanded, the cutlass bearing and sea cop changed by BNV Marine. After that, we made a new list and this is where we are at now. It is currently the monsoon season, so that means some days the weather is rainy. Not that we're complaining, because it's a nice break from the heat. But that also means we remain indoors doing other sorts of work on the boat, and the cockpit gets really wet. We created a to-do list of tasks and prioritized them in order of crucial, must-do now, to can-do later once we're at a marina. So we're on a busy shipyard dock area where ferries come in. You have Roro Ferry and you also have um, Langkawi Express, I think. You also have these ferries here that take humans to islands, Penang and things like that. This place is really industrial and it's a port. It's a very busy port. You can see that there's a lot of obstruction like this because it's a busy port so people are working all the time. There's lorries over here, there's a factory over there, that's where we're at and uh, that's where the immigration and customs are so this part gets really really busy and over here is the beautiful view Today we are going to attempt to put up our kind of awning, I don't know what you call it, bimini but it's not really a built-in bimini, it's a removable one this here is what it is and uh, I'll put a reference of what we want it to look like now So that was Peter and Jana in Taiwan and that's how they used to have their bimini and that's how we were trying to get it Renee did some fine tuning and I think it's perfect now. It's nice and taut and it gives us good coverage. Lots of breeze can come through and no sun. As soon as we got our stuff organized and I painted all the exterior thick on our little boat, after that we both removed the old canopy that enclosed Jana during the pandemic and Sam removed the main sail bag to hand stitch and patch up tests. So I've patched all the holes, there's some up here as well. So everywhere that there are holes I've patched it and hopefully it will save us one season. And we haven't managed to clear this part yet so we've got all the sails under here. We had to we had to first clear the lazarettes in order to make space and we want to try and put majority of the sails inside there. Another task that was on our long list was to move all the sails that were piled up in the V-berth into the starboard lazarette. Slowly but surely, we are making progress towards a neat and tidy boat. It's our cockpit, everything is now out here. Can you believe we fit all of this stuff inside the Viva? It has taken us longer than we expected because we had a flu for a week and all we could do was rest. Okay, I think I'm going to bring in the laundry because I see this dark cloud over there. We removed the salon and V-birth cushion covers and got them washed. Everything is back in now and we're really happy with the interior. New curtains are up and it's finally feeling more and more like our home. 
Cooking has been difficult because we relied on our camping stove for the first month. The boat came with two LPG tanks that needed servicing. We changed the connectors, got a new regulator and refilled them. <laughs> okay. Sam, you sure you want to do this? I won't explode uh, the boat. Okay, let's do it. Wait, let me go down first. We have fire. Wow. Food like you. And cook. Thanks, baby. Cook, huh? You cook for me, huh? Now we can finally have hot meals on our boat. Something we have learned along the way is that aluminium and stainless steel cannot be put together on a boat. LPG tanks, aluminium against metal, against steel, so that they don't rust. So we had to make our own little plastic washers to separate them when installing the gas tanks back to where they belong. Uh, sorry, I'm busy. Yeah, yeah, I need to act my movie. Yeah. Alright, uh. <laughs> Next up, we got our anchor and anchor chain out of the anchor locker and down onto the ground in order to wash them and also prep the anchor chain for galvanizing. We plan on servicing our engine next week and in the process is our boat registration and insurance. Currently, we're creating a video a month just for updates that we can look back upon one day and remember where we began. It feels like we have been here for more than two months. Sometimes, we forget just how much work we have done until we look back at the footage we shoot along the way and realize, wow, so much we did and so much we still have to do. The reality of owning a boat sets in. The work doesn't end. Our goal is to be in the water by July end and move to a marina. Let's work towards that. Hey, so thank you for watching our videos. We appreciate you and hopefully we won't be here much longer and the next time that you see us, we're on the water. Fingers crossed. Remember to subscribe if you haven't already. Click the notification bell to get notified when we release our videos. Hit the like button if you enjoy our videos and we'll see you next time, guys.